The purpose of this video is to provide general instruction in the setup and operation of Sturtle Coney Wireless Mobile Lifting Columns. This wireless mobile lifting column operations video will serve as a supplement to full operations training as detailed in the original equipment installation, operation, and service manual. The original manual is also supported by the following documents that are provided by the Automotive Lift Institute. The Lifting at Right Manual and Video. The Automotive Lift Safety Tips Place Card attached to the lift. The Operator's Portion of the Automotive Lift Operation Inspection and Maintenance Manual. Technicians should not operate this lifting equipment until compliance with these standards has been met. Please note, this video is not a substitute for formal operator training as outlined in the Automotive Lift Operation Inspection and Maintenance Manual. As a starting point, always place and operate mobile lifting columns on a flat, firm surface in compliance with the requirements laid out in the original equipment manual. If the lifts are to be operated outside, it is necessary for the technician to be aware of wind loads against the vehicle when in a raised position. Maximum allowable wind loads are detailed in the original equipment manual. Now let's get started. Pallet Jack Operation The first step to utilizing mobile columns is to get the column to the service area. The column includes in its design a pallet jack mechanism to facilitate this relocation. The pallet jack has a three position handle. One, the raised handle position is for release of the pallet jack. Two, the middle handle position is the neutral position that allows relocation of the column. And three, the lowest position of the pallet jack handle is to allow the column to be raised off the floor for relocation. Here we see the pallet jack handle placed into the lowest position and the pallet jack handle being pumped up which in turn raises the column off the floor. Column Relocation now that the column is raised off the floor, it is a simple matter to maneuver the column to the location of the vehicle. As a starting point, the operator must make certain that the lifting fork matches to the diameter of the tire and rim assembly to be lifted. The mobile column has the option of being fitted with either a fixed lifting fork or an adjustable lifting fork. The principle behind the opening in the lifting fork is that the tire and rim assembly cannot pass through the fork in the unlikely event of a tire rupture. Fixed lifting fork columns must be fitted with reduction sleeves to narrow the fork opening. Adjustable lifting fork columns allow the fork opening to be reduced by releasing the lifting fork lock by hand and then sliding the fork inwards. It is important to slide each side of the adjustable lifting fork in an equal distance. Once the column has the fork properly set up for the vehicle to be lifted, we are going to insert the lifting fork around the tire. Make sure to position the lifting fork perpendicular to and completely in contact with the tire. It is best that the steering axle tires be set in a straightforward position when the vehicle is brought into the service bay. Once the column lifting fork is firmly against the tire, release the pallet jack by raising the handle to the upper position. This will lower the column to the floor. Repeat these steps with all columns to be used in the lifting set. The startup process. Now that all the columns in the set are properly positioned, it is time to power up each column in the set. On each column is a main power switch. At this time, locate the main power switch and rotate it clockwise from off to on. Once the main power switch has been rotated to the on position, each of the lights on the front of the control panel will flash on as a lamp test. As part of the lamp test, a self-diagnostic is performed. Once the auto-diagnostic check has been completed, the column is ready to run, that is, to be initialized for operation. It is necessary to follow this identical procedure to power up each column in the set. Once a column is powered up and completed the self-diagnostic check, the OSD, on-screen display, will show an image of the ID key and prompt the operator to identify the columns that are to be linked into a single set that will operate together. Column Identification now that all columns are powered up and ready to be identified, simply go to each column and place the ID key in front of the antenna symbol. The column will acknowledge that it has been identified by emitting a single beep and prompt the operator to move to the next column to be identified or use the ID key to finish column grouping and the startup process. Each column in a set needs to be identified 